Sambona Sambona Susan John. Shapila Putunjan win. Uh, first of all, thank God you're alive. We just wanted to make sure you're fine, first of all. Because yeah. the people that you are dealing with, my word. Are you not scared? Hey. No, no, you. no. I am not scared. Ow. Are you serious? Like, I'm going to show a little bit of fear. Uh, I can't say it's here, I mm. It's there. But the most important thing, it's the cause of what we are doing. Yeah. So how did the show come about? If you could just give us a, a little bit of a background. Um, the show, uh, show a uh, much I love. Mm. So, um, you know, shallow pants, then what is Kasuti? You show me the Ibenjan and the show Yani. Then I was like, I own seven and one. Yeah. So, so I'm making sure. So, Kolani, tell us a bit about about yourself, um, Bulaz. Um, how did you become um, a, on? A, well, I, I believe you're a private investigator. Um, you'll be very surprised. Kolani was alwa a team in Houten. Oh, okay. Yeah, and um, in Sunday corner, and in Pile corner. Then, professionally, I'm a I'm an explosive engineer. What? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're busy engineering the country right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I was in mining for over twelve years. Then when this when this opportunity came about, I was like, hey, the mining is reborn. Wow. That is insane. Yeah. Everyone actually thought that uh, you are like really, truly qualified. Well, I'm not taking anything away from the job that you do, but I'm saying, Wutsi, this is what we thought. But but engineering is quite interesting. It means, Wutsi, well, your way of thinking is quite critical, uh, which is the reason why I want to find out from you, um, Olan Wutsi. When you, when you go to these places, lazy as Nama drug dealers, um, I don't want to know much about where the information you get from but you already know that you you're going to find drugs yes yes 100 percent. so what we do is i have a very strong team okay of investigators and uh i have a very strong team of people that validate information so what we do is we research mm. i i believe research is the most important thing in everything a person does absolutely Yes, for a normal when any kind of business or whatever that you do, as long as your research is on point, mm-hmm. you know exactly what mm-hmm. you're dealing with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, and and I'm going to ask you a very difficult question right now because it's something that all of us have been wanting to know. Or would say when you guys go to an ad break, these guys are not cooperating. Then you say these magic words: "Don't worry, you and me are going to be fine." <laughs> <laughs> so what exactly are you asking them not to worry about? I, like, I don't want you to incriminate yourself because whatever you're doing works. So I don't even want to know the nitty gritties. I just want to know when you say don't worry, where does the confidence to know? I am going to get what I want. Yeah, the thing is, um, I work with <laughs> professionals. Well. Right. I work with professionals and I work with law enforcement. Uh, law, law enforcement. So, when it comes to such things, I know with the case, these guys were trained to uh, question people. Mm. So, I, I give the platform to the police, mm. and the police will take over. Then I'll come back and say, um, I told you. Don't worry. <laughs> and they don't worry. <laughs> no, nah, they shouldn't worry, man. <laughs> No, 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 we don't, we don't worry. So there's a, there's a, a lot of people that keep asking me, how did you manage to make an old man pass gas? Wamsuzi sanje umpelu muntu out of fear. Was that real? Yes. Okay. The thing is, I think it was, uh, it was somewhere in case it in a recharge bay. Yeah. So we had intelligence that this guy is operating. Mm. So because of my pictures and videos were 
circulating yeah. amongst um, the foreign nationals saying this guy is um, giving us problems. Mm-hmm. I don't know what they were circulating my pictures for, but for me, everyone knew that I was there. Mm-hmm. So, as soon as I walked in, he knew what it was about to go down. Zamkala. Mm. <laughs> Zamkala. Yeah, so I, I think out of panic, we were to go to Bamba. So, because of, you know, when when you are relaxed and you think you have everything under control, then someone walks in. Mm. The first thing is Ukshaya, it's that knock of Uktuka. Yeah. 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 So, so, so mm. by us incriminator sometimes, mm. by a penica and stuff like that. Mm. That one. Yeah. Can I just find out the level of cooperation that you are getting from government, Amapois, uh, Hulmen in general, are you happy with that? Um, I can't say I'm totally happy, but in some places I, I, I do get the support. There are there are people in high positions, especially GUSAPs and your JNPDs and your EMPDs. They 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 do support me. Mm-hmm. But Abang, because some of them are compromised or some of them yes. have interests or some of them mm-hmm. are beneficiaries mm-hmm. in their own way, are uh, but support at all. Mm-hmm. But I understand because it's human behavior. That one. So not everyone is as productive as the other. But if I come across someone who's productive and who wants to work and who wants um, to make this country a better place, mm. we work very well with them. And second, no, no, even that much because communities are starting to get involved. Mm. They want they want this thing to end. Can drama yeah. drop? So we work very well with them. So um, and we always try to conscientize our communities to establish our local police unit, their That's own true. policing That's forum. True that uh, fight against crime and drugs. And, and I want to find out from you, you don't have to name names, but do you think that um, high-ranking officials do benefit from drugs actually being so widespread in the country? Have you experienced any, or, or have you heard of any names doing the rounds, even if you don't mention them? No, so far, no. Hmm. Uh, so far, Angag is one, no, too. Mm-hmm. But, you know, there's rumors that uh, there are people who are involved, but we can't confirm that yeah. because we don't it's have evidence. Rumor. I mean, yeah. evidence. Whenever I go to a drug dealer, I go there with concrete and positive evidence. Personally, I'm a bit fed up with the whole foreigners being the ones that are pushing drugs in the country, and I do make this known. It's something I'm absolutely not apologetic about. But for you personally being on the ground and witnessing this for yourself, what what would you say is the problem, really? Why do we have so many foreigners uh, doing drugs willy-nilly in the country? What's the issue? Um, I think in the because of, if it was um, something that is done by everyone, mm. um, surely I could have got information about a lot of people. But all the positive information that I get is for a specific uh, uh, foreign people. Yeah. So for me, it shows, Wuti, this is not just about business. Mm. But for me, I see it as a terrorist attack against our country. Yeah. So we have to stand up and make sure that we take our country back, our buildings back, our our, our, our street back. Because of, it's not easy for them to operate, but the, mm. the, but the people, yeah. and there are women who benefit from... Absolutely. Uh, from the lifestyle. Mm. Yes, there are there are old ladies who benefit from drug dealers. There are communities that benefit from those people. That one. So, yeah. if Tina, as a mass South African, that's why you may live in Believe you me, they need the lula for these people to work. And since I'm a, I'm a huge fan of your show and I make sure I watch it religiously and you're not going to say it, I'll say it for you. So you've got a lot of Nigerians specifically coming to the country and doing drugs. 100%. And and 
what what do you feel about your own safety 